My name is David and I'm going to be your examiner in this speaking test. What's your full name? My full name is Ali Mardon Saber Ali, but please just call me Ali. Okay, Ali. Um, Ali, where are you from? I'm from a small town called Uche, which is not that far from here. It's about five kilometers from here. I see. Okay. And what do you do? Well, right now I'm working as an IELTS instructor in, in Charta, which is another city that is quite next to my city. And uh, I'm quite happy about my job right now because that's what I like and do best, I believe. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about swimming. Okay. Sure. Did you learn um, how to swim when you were a child? Well, I was a pretty bad swimmer as a child, and there were a, no a number of cases in which I felt really embarrassed because of not being able to swim. So I asked my dad to take me to swimming classes. And I'm pretty gr grateful that he did because I'm a great swimmer now. Okay. How often do you swim now? Well, given the conditions of the pandemic that's going around, I don't have the chance to swim that often now because most of the swimming pools are closed, especially in my city. So I'm not doing any swimming these days. Okay. I mean, in your city, what places are there for swimming? Well, there is a famous one called Barcamola Lot, which is quite next to the apartment that I bought last year. So that's one of the reasons why I bought that apartment, because I wanted to practice swimming professionally in that place. But unfortunately, that place is closed as well. So, yeah, that was the one place that where I could swim in, in Namangam. What do you think? Is it enjoyable to swim indoors or outdoors and why? I believe it's a lot better to swim in an indoor swimming pool because uh, you don't get distracted by uh, various weather conditions and you can swim whenever it's rain raining as well. Plus uh, the water quality in, in indoor pools is much better because it doesn't get dirt from the outside factors and, and the street. Mm. Um, now let's talk about shopping. Sure. Um, do you enjoy shopping? Uh, well, yeah, generally I enjoy shopping because it kind of gives me a sense of relaxation uh, at the end of the day. And plus I get to buy new stuff, which is always better than, you know, sticking to the old stuff. And do you check the price of things before, um, whilst you're doing shopping? It really depends on what I'm buying, actually. For example, if I'm buying clothes, uh, I never check the price tags because, well, there are a, a limited number of brands that I buy from and H&M is one of them. And I know their price range, so I don't really check their prices. And I just buy uh, specifically depending on the quality and how the clothes looks on me. Okay, yeah. I see. So this is the end of part one and we are going to start part two. In this part, I'm going to ask you to describe a business person that you know. And before that, I'm going to give you a minute to plan. You can make some notes if you want. Okay. Can I start now? Yeah. Okay, you may begin. All right, so because I'm in the field of business myself, I've come to know a great number of business people and most of my business magnets from China because I lived in China for six years. But there is this specific person that I want to talk about right now and she is my ex-boss and her name is Wendy. And uh, she is quite short in stature and she has long curly hair as well and a beautiful face. And I regard her as my business mentor because I've learned a lot about business from her in different occasions, right? And she is in the tile manufacturing business. And the way she does business is she hires a, a factory to manufacture the tiles for her. And she just do the, does the branding and marketing there. And the things that I know her 
know about her as a person is that she's quite smart in her job uh, as a business person and she's actually one of the best uh, and renowned people in, in China and she's quite humble as well and because she never looks down upon her employees even though she's practically a millionaire now and the way she talks talks to everyone around her is just extremely friendly as well and she's one of the reasons probably why she's a great salesperson uh, to date uh, among the people that I know of right and then she's got she's got great business skills as well uh, for example uh, I've seen her on a number of occasions making a sale uh, for example, the last time I saw her making a sale was in Dubai at an international fair in which she was really successful at converting the potential customers into buying customers by, you know, making them her friend first and then, you know, really earning their trust that, that way. And so that was pretty impressive about her in the action. And plus, I regard her as my close friend as well because... I, there were a lot of occasions in which she really helped me out when I was in financial difficulty as, as a student living in China. That's why I regard her as my close friend and business mentor for the reasons that I mentioned above. Yeah. I see. And this is the end of part one. So we're going to start with part two. Um, here, I would like us to discuss one or two things about what you talked about. Okay. okay. Um, your first question is, uh, what kind of people are famous in your country today? Well, off the top of my head, movie actors and athletes as well. Movie actors for obvious, obvious reasons, because they're always on TV and movies and stuff. And, you know, we are watching a lot more TV than we used to now, because probably we have more free time. And uh, sports people as well, because uh, the new government is placing a lot more focus on development of sports that's why they are always on tv as well you know as a part of the promotion of sport and i actually like this trend because it kind of encourages uh, the youngsters to go in for sports uh, a lot more than they used to and instead of just you know killing time using social media and doing other stuff that's harmful and why are there many stories about these famous people um, <clears throat> these days uh, well, if you're talking about media, that, that, that's probably because it's one of the best ways of grabbing attention of the public. And, you know, a media, a business, media, media industry is also a type of business and they make more money if they, if, if whatever they're writing is really catchy and a lot of people read that because one of the ways in which they monetize the content is by advertising and the more, the more people read, reads their stuff. Uh, the more money they generate. So that's the obvious reason why they highlight those key people. That, that often. Do you agree that most of the people that we have today like to be famous? Well, I don't believe that everybody wants to be famous because it has a lot to do with your personality as well. For example, I am an extrovert. I mean, an introvert, actually, not an extrovert. And I, I, there, there's no way that I would, I would want to be a famous person because I don't enjoy the public attention but if you are an extroverted person on the other hand then the chances are you might want to be a famous person and probably you might end up one because most of the actions of an extrovert will be aligned to making himself or herself famous because they are great at talking to people and they are great with public attention and stuff like that okay, okay. Let's look at the advantages of being famous. Um, right. Do you think it's easy for famous people to earn a lot of money? Yes, definitely. Because uh, one way they can make money is by advertising. And, you know, it's one of the most lucrative industries out there now. It's probably the easiest way to make money now. And they practically get paid millions of dollars uh, to advertise a drink, a beverage uh, in, in, the, in the hot day of the summer, right? talking about football players here and uh, the second way in which they can generate income is by creating their own brand because they already have the, the confidence of the public so they can easily sell whatever they want to to the public and they would never question the quality of the content that they're selling yeah and why might famous people enjoy having fans 
Uh, well, there are probably a number of reasons. First is that th their ego really craves popularity and attention, and you get attention from your fans as well. And in the era of technology, we have social media and uh, social media attention as well. And, you know, famous people get a lot of that. And plus, uh, psychologically speaking, our brain uh, extracts a hormone called dopamine every time we get a notification on social media. And famous people get a lot of dopamine when they use social media because the, the amount of notifications they're getting is just immense, right? So that's one way they get hooked uh, on making a lot of fans. Okay. Yeah. In what way? Could famous people be used to influence good things in the world? Uh, well, again, as I've just mentioned, they ha they have the confidence of the public in which way. I mean, the public trusts them in whatever the action they are taking, right? So they have they can help uh, fight against the alarming issues like global warming on a large scale, and the chances are everybody starts following them because they are famous. For example, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who is a famous, probably the most famous movie actor in Hollywood and the entire world is uh, fighting against global warming now and and the uh, cleaning ocean floors as well. And he's getting extremely famous in his endeavors because he's got probably the more, uh, more followers than any other movie actors out there. And that's one of the reasons why uh, he's generating so much attention, uh, both from media and the public, uh, in terms of raising awareness about global global warming. Yeah, he's been pretty successful, actually. Um, and the the desire for fame. How how do you think it has affected society? The desire for fame has a negative connotation in my brain because. I mean, you should never have the desire to, I mean, you should never ha have the popularity as your end goal, right? And if you focus entirely on doing what we're doing best, then the, the fame comes as a byproduct of what we're doing. So, yeah, we should never really focus on being famous as the first goal of our life. Okay. Good. Um, this is the end of the speaking, and it was nice having you. You too. Okay. Thank you.